full maintenance and servicing. The operators must have read and understood the manual, paying special attention to the chapter safety precautions. Non observance of the above endangers life. The separator works reliably, provided that it's operated and maintained in accordance with the operating instructions. Attention! Do not loosen any part of the separator before the bowl has come to a standstill. Use only genuine spare parts from Westphalia separator. Unscrew the plug, right hand thread. Loosen the handle connection piece by turning the hook wrench clockwise and holding the socket wrench. Remove the handle connection piece. Unscrew the two hexagon nuts and the hex head screw and lift off the hood. Arrest the bottom with the hook wrench and hexagon nut. To do this, place the hook wrench over a stud of the lower section of the frame and let it register in a groove of the bottom. Undo the threaded ring left hand thread completely using the hook wrench and screw on one turn by hand. Press the bowl shell against the threaded ring. The liquid contents of the bowl will run into the discharge channel. Caution! Parts and liquid can be hot. Unscrew the centripetal pump chamber cover with the hook wrench. Remove the centripetal pump with fitted gasket. Dismantle the regulating ring. Take out the gasket. Unscrew the threaded ring. Lift off the bowl shell together with the bowl shell insert. Dismantle the bowl shell insert. Carefully clean the bowl shell using a wooden, plastic or copper scraper. Remove the separating disc. Then remove the disc stack. Force the bottom with fitted gaskets off the spindle with the aid of two hook wrenches and remove it. Apply the two hook wrenches to the edge of the bottom. Position the gasket on the spindle cap and press on firmly so that no cleaning liquid can enter the drive and ruin the lube oil. Clean the gasket grooves and holes in the spindle. Remove the grease from the belt running surfaces of the spindle, the flat belt and the flat belt pulley. After cleaning, immediately remove the gasket. Place the bottom on the spindle. Pay attention to correct positioning. The zero marks on the bottom and spindle must be aligned. Insert the gasket in the groove of the bottom. Grease the gasket as specified in the lubrication schedule.
place the discs alternately on top of each other. In other words, first an unmarked disc, then a disc with a punch mark. Then place the complete disc stack on the spindle. Pay attention to correct positioning. Place the separating disc on the disc stack. Fit the bowl shell insert. Fit the bowl shell together with the bowl shell insert. Fit the two gaskets in the grooves of the threaded ring. Grease the gaskets, guide surfaces and threads as specified in the lubrication schedule. Screw in the complete threaded ring using the hook wrench, left hand thread. Attention, a loose threaded ring can endanger life. Grease and insert the gasket in the groove of the threaded ring. Mount the regulating ring selected from the set of regulating rings. Fit the gasket in the groove of the centripetal pump and grease as specified in the lubrication schedule. Install the centripetal pump. Grease threads and guide surfaces in accordance with the lubrication schedule. Bolt tight the centripetal pump chamber cover using the hook wrench, left hand thread. Attention, a loose centripetal pump chamber cover can endanger life. Remove the hexagon nut and the hook wrench. Mount the hood. Attention, two studs. The connection threads of the corrugated hoses point towards the rear. Bolt tight the hood with the two hexagon nuts and a hex head screw. Fix the handle connection piece with fitted gaskets into the hood. Tighten the handle connection piece by turning the hook wrench counterclockwise and holding the T hexagon wrench. Screw the plug with fitted gasket into the hood, right hand thread. Before restarting the separator, be sure to refer to the instructions in the chapter before startup.